So this is the XB hub. It's notable by access holes. They have three access holes on it. Um, <clears throat> the shaft seems to be done the same way. It's got this rolled over feature. So I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. I'll have to do the same thing up here that I did with the other hub. Draw a couple of holes, get the hacksaw out, join them, and then extract the oil seal through this gap. And that's what I'm going to do here so that it can rotate. It's very stiff, this one. Yeah, that won't show any balance at all. all right, so here we go, we're lifting out that segment of. I'll just cut. And I should get the pliers. And I can see the seal down here. So I'll be working on that next, I think. So I'm working out the uh, seal, the outer metal piece of the seal there with the screwdriver. I'm going to get my tin snips, see if I can just cut that. See if I can do this one handed. I've got a little cut on it. Keep on. That may have got it. Okay, so this thing here is the seal coming out. I've got the crescent pliers on it. Channel channel lock pliers, I don't know what they're called. It's called a crescent wrench, but that's wrong apparently. So even with the seal now gone, I can tell just by, you can see how stiff it is, it's turning the bottom. I've got to get some of this grease out, and I hope it's just not tightened up too much by this. Well, I've readapted the test rig setup, so now it has the XB hub in, but this one doesn't spin very freely, even with the seal missing. Took the seal out here. It may just be too much internal resistance, which could be a problem. Still, I'm going to throw a wheel on it and see how much it takes to measure an out of balance on it. Well, this is definitely going to be harder. I've added uh, four weights over there, two ones and two three quarters, so that's three and a half ounces. And I can see that it wants to go that way, but it just has too much internal friction. Okay, I know it looks really, really messy, uh, but I think I'm starting to have some success at trying to get this swaged over piece of uh, steel off. I tried grinding, drilling, most of this is drilling, there's a, one grinding spot, it was very slow, drilling a little bit faster, it didn't really seem to do much. Been using a hammer and a very small cold chisel, and then finally I started hitting it around the outside edge, and it's starting to peel up, so I'm hopefully, maybe I can chase this peeling around and get that thing up. So the drilling probably weakened it enough for me to get under and start chiseling it up. Yep, chasing it around with the bigger cold chisel now. Same smaller hammer though. I haven't got Mr. Sledge out yet. Okay, I think I'm making a bit more progress here. What I did was buy a tungsten carbide cutting tool for my Dremel. And I'm slowly grinding away at this area underneath what is either the back of the bearing or it's a hardened washer. So I'm trying to undercut that using this uh, Dremel. So after a lot of grinding and beating on this end around here, I think I've got the friction down enough so I've got it back in the rig. It's not as low as the other one but it does seem to want to rotate a bit more freely. I want to put a wheel on and see how much balance weight it will take to move it. Right, so this is the first XB wheel I'm trying out. Uh, this one was an attempted balance on the bubble balancer. I'm just giving it a slight push in either direction. It looks like I've got too much weight on there. So it is detecting them. I'm going to stick a one ounce weight on, see how much more it goes. Right, so I've got an extra one ounce weight tacked on. 
and as you can see it's moving pretty freely down so that's good. Let me try that on the other side. Okay, I'll put it on the other side. And it seems to be pretty neutral. So I'm going to take the weight off and just rebalance this wheel. So I took the weight off and I've added two quarter ounce weights, so a total of half ounce there. And you know, I think this wheel I think this wheel is in balance with nothing on it. It's just rotating down. So the good news is I think I've gotten sufficient friction out of the bearing hub that I can actually do a vertical wheel balance now and be pretty darn close. This is the second wheel. So I took an ounce and a quarter off and put in a quarter on. That seems to be about balance now. This is the third tire, it's the one I had the most trouble with. Um, when I was balancing it, I actually have two weights. I've got this one on the outside, and there's another one on the inside. But as you can see, it's heading that way, so it's wrong. And it's wrong by quite a bit. So I'll be taking those off and rebalance it. So rebalancing the third wheel, I've actually got two quarter ounce weights, one on the outside, one on the inside. And that seems to balance it quite nicely. And similarly with the fourth wheel, I was able to take off a three quarter ounce and put on a quarter ounce. And that seems to have stuff in balance. Good. Just had the XB out for a trial spin. Got it up to uh, some limited super legal speeds on the freeway and the tire balancing works fine no sign of up and down shake or the dreaded shimmy side to side shake from the front wheel so I'm calling that good